Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth number nine. Step four, add an if else statement in check correct. We're gonna add a simple if else statement inside the function check correct that compares button ID and the random button ID and displays a message to console that they got it right or wrong. Insert some code like this between your existing console doc lock statements and the call to set board. We are going to test it. Verify that the if statement is giving correct results. You should be able to click on buttons and see messages that verify your if statement is working. Be sure to click on all the buttons to test the scenarios. Is it detecting the correct or incorrect button clicks properly? Is it changing the board every time? Your console output might look something similar to what's shown to the right. Tip, it may be useful to temporarily remove or comment out this call to set board so the board doesn't change every time when you click it. This would let you verify that every button works right for a single board setup. Then add it back once you're done. Looking at our example here, it looks like it says the correct button is, and then it displays checking button four, and then you got it right or wrong, depending on what you do. Seems pretty straightforward. I'm excited to do this step, so let's go ahead and jump in. First thing it says to do is we need to add an if else statement to our check correct. So all the way at the bottom is my check correct. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add my if else statement after the console.log statement. And this is just going to compare if the button ID is equal to the range of button ID. If it is, it's gonna say, hey, you're right. If not, it's gonna give me a wrong statement like that. I'm gonna take my if else statement, drag it in here. If the button ID is equal to rand button ID, then what? Console.log here is going to display you got it right, semicolon. Else, it's going to say wrong. All capitals, like it's yelling, not very friendly at all. Now, this should compare our scores and tell if we got it right or wrong. Let's go ahead and test our code. Let's run it. Correct one is button four. If we click button four now, checking button four, you got it right. And the next one is button two. Let's do it differently. Let's click on one. Nope, wrong. Looks like our code is working pretty good. Let's check all the boxes like they said. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to comment out on my function here, the where it says set board. I'm just gonna comment that out. And we can get this a little closer anyway to see what's happening. I have to reset and run for this to take hold. So now I can verify if it's working or not. And if you can see, the one when it's click right says you're right. All the other ones are telling me it is wrong. Looks like everything is working the way it should. Let's just reset one, one more time. Three is correct. I was correct. Looking back up here, we added our if else statement towards it. And we checked out all the scenarios and our output looks exactly like theirs. I think that's all they wanted us to do for now. Let's go ahead and see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I know this was a tough couple of lessons, but you're doing a great job. I'll see you on the next one.